Portugal has never had a track cyclist sent to the Olympics, but two brothers are looking to change all this. Hailing from the city of Porto, the 22-year-old twins, Ivo and Rui, grew up surrounded by cycling. With their father, a local team director, and their older brother, Helder, competing on the road, the pair thrived with illustrious junior careers. So this is where it, all the most important medals are, the Europeans, World Cups and World Championship medals are. We have also the jerseys from back then when we were, when we start cycling, back when we were seven years old. And as you can see, he's little. <laughs> Yeah, also this one was one this year in elite category. In the elite category, uh, in the last day in silver the silver and silver as well. Yeah, <laughs> he won individual pursuit and I won in elimination. Pretty cool. Was the first race also counting for the Olympics, also important. So. With podium places at World Championships and European Championships, the brothers have had a string of notable results on the track. With Evo making history by winning Portugal's first ever medal at the Track Cycling World Championships, not to be outdone, Rui has also been placing well in competition, winning bronze at a recent UCI track event on home soil in Portugal. It's a big moment. Not just for him that one, but for me that I'm, I'm watching him and we, we get happy and we don't get frustrated. Maybe because, oh, he's my brother and he's getting all the intention. No, oh, I don't think that never happened to us. And I think we get delight for each other when we, we win a medal. For an endurance rider, the road is a, is, a, is a priority, but I think it's possible with the experience that they have, they can come to the track and they can do the most important race because they have a background that uh, with uh, not too much specific preparation, they can do the, the important race like uh, the continental championships, uh, world championships and so on, and maybe to go to the, the next uh, Olympic Games in Paris. I'm missing a lot of gold. I, I'm, I'm constantly doing the second place and it's something that I like is because I'm good to be on the final, but I, I, I want to win the gold for sure. And it's something that I don't hide. I, I, I want to, to win the gold medal on, on Pursuit and also qualify for Tokyo. That for Olympics, that's the main goal also. It's to be insane. Uh, it's, it's a dream that everyone wants, like when you're a kid and I'm not different. <laughs> I want to be in the Olympics, especially on the track. I think it's quite hard to get there. You just have to, you have four years to get points and qualify for Worlds, qualify for World Cups. It's not an easy task, but you know, we just just keep progressing and I think we are in a, in a good path to, to get there. It's very important for us, for the country, to have a Rui and Hivo, uh, talent rider with a big future and uh, an example for the other riders and for the other young riders. We never had a team in, in Olympics in track cycling. So I think in 2020, I think will be something huge for our country, for ourselves and also for our cycling, our country, yeah. But not just content with track success, the two have also been developing on the road. They've spent the past two seasons at the Hagen's Berman Axion team, a renowned developer of talent. And the brothers are now signed with UCI World Tour Team, UAE Team Emirates, for the 2019 season. Another world being, being in a World Tour team, and uh, I really enjoy to be with the uh, people that I was looking on TV a few years ago, and now I'm standing with, with them and being partners of them, and I, I'm really proud and looking forward to race along them and being able to, to help us. I just want to be able to do the best races in the World Tour calendar. I think 
maybe one day do the Tour de France, starting with the Grand, Grand Tours as well, the other ones, and who knows, one day just be able to do Tour de France and those classic races, the best ones. It's my passion, it's, it's what I've been doing since, since I was a kid. I feel it when I'm racing, when I'm outside, I just feel it like real passion for this. Yeah, that's how I think that's how you keep like motivated. It's your sport, you just you just love it. <laughs>